Good morning, guys. It is day two in Palm Springs. And y'all, I feel like I've been here forever. I've only been here for one day, but I feel like I did so much yesterday and I didn't even go out last night. So I did want to go out last night to show you guys what the nightlife is like in Palm Springs. But honestly, I don't think we missed much. After I left the tram, I just came back to my hotel and I went to sleep because I was tired. But it seemed like everything out here downtown closes at 9 or 10 anyway. And maybe a couple bars, they open past that and then they have some clubs, but I don't do clubs. So I don't think there was anything to really show you guys. If I went downtown, I feel like it would have just been a ghost town, but I don't know. So you have to come out here for the nightlife yourself and see. But I don't think stuff stays open like that. Um, so today, though, I'm going to Dinah Shore, which is what I came out here for. I'm super excited. This is my first time going. So I think I'm going to go grab um, some breakfast and then I'm going to head over to Margaritaville for the pool party. I am pool ready. I got my glasses on. I got my swimsuit on. I'm so ready for this. So I will see you guys over there. So I just wanted to show you guys my fit today real quick. So I got this cute little neon bathing suit. I got my little fanny pack. I got my glasses on. I am pool ready. I cannot show y'all the back of this because there's a lot going on back there and I just, we can't do all that. But super cute little bathing suit. And I feel like I'm ready for the girls. I have to get cute for the girls. So ready to go. Okay, just real quick, you guys. Um, I stopped by Rick's. Rick's Restaurant and Bakery. Just getting a normal breakfast, some eggs and bacon, but I got this cinnamon roll, this giant cinnamon roll that they do. You guys, this is giving Cinnabon a run for its money. This Cinnabon is so good. If you come to Rick's, whatever you get, please just get this on the side. It's freaking bomb. All right, y'all, I just left my first dinosaur ever. It was lit. I had an absolute blast. My fit, my fit was a hit. The girls liked the fit. And then I got these cute little pins there too. Now y'all see my daddy pin. And shout out to uh, Queen on the scene. These are the people that I got the pins from. So check them out if you want to get some of these pins. They were dope. Um, but the event was lit. 
it was just so nice to see like all the women just out there doing their thing everybody was free i tried not to film too much because a lot of people out there were topless and i didn't know i want to be respectful of everybody i'm a i'm a gentleman so i want to be respectful of all the ladies i didn't want to film too much you know da, 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 da. but um it was a good time it was definitely a good time the only thing that i would say was the drinks the drink situation was kind of weird because if you had gotten vip you had a bar designated to you within the event but if you didn't have vip there was kind of like a tito's van where you could buy drinks and then there were there were like different bars but you had to leave the event and come back in so if you had like a general ticket which was a hundred dollars for just that event if you didn't buy the weekend pass you had to go outside of the event get your drink and come back out inside and they were being like super weird about like where you could walk where you could have your drink where you could have your food so it was kind of like, I don't know. I feel like that was the only thing that I was like, I don't understand why they did it that way. I mean, I do understand because they want people to get VIP, but it was kind of like a bus kills have to leave the event and then come back in for your drink. But other than that, like I met a ton of people. I came out here by myself. So I usually do everything by myself anyway, so I'm used to that. But for people that are kind of worried about coming out here by themselves, you're fine you're gonna meet people i think i met people within my first five minutes of walking in i met people that were like hey you want to come hang with us come hang with us you want to come out tonight with us come out tonight with us da, 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 da. like people are in there they're exchanging uh, everyone is, is exchanging information like it's a very very friendly place so do not be like worried if you come out here by yourself that you're gonna like be by yourself like you'll meet people here for sure um and then um margaritaville like the pool the pool was super nice they had like performances the dj was good the dj was playing hip-hop reggae reggaeton so the dj had like the party lit the entire time really good dj um so i am not sure if i'm gonna stay tonight um i was supposed to just go to this event and leave but i'm like oh i i might stay because i really wanted to see princess nokia she's performing tonight and i had like a buku obsession with this girl for like the longest time um but then people were telling me that like the night events are kind of like a hit or miss so some so people were saying like sometimes they're lit sometimes they're not like the pool parties are always a good time but people were like a lot of people were telling me that they were just gonna go to downtown palm springs and hang out there so i was like uh i don't know like maybe i'll just do that or maybe i'm just gonna go home i'm not sure yet um but i haven't got my ticket for the other events yet um but I will say that I do kind of regret not buying the pass for the whole weekend because I got here Thursday night and the event starts, I, th I think like the first event they have is Wednesday. But if you're coming by yourself, it, I feel like it's good to like get here early and meet people. Like the earlier events are more chill. So you have time to kind of sit down and meet people and then you have a group that you can hang out with for the rest of the time. So I came Saturday, so I feel like by the time that I came, everyone was kind of already grouped up with their people and clicked up with like people they had met like Thursday, Friday. So it was like, people were still friendly, like people were still talking to me obviously, but I felt like it was easier for people to meet at the beginning of the event. So I feel like if you're coming by yourself, just do the whole weekend, get the pass, and then get here early and meet people early. And then you'll have people to like kick it with for the entire weekend that you're here. But even if you come late, like people, I'm telling you, like people are friendly. It was, it was just a good time. Like everyone was cool. Everyone was respectful. Even like the people like attending the event, like everyone was respectful and chill. 
Good. The girls were having fun, y'all. The girls was having a blast. They was doing their thing. No one was, there was no cares given. People was dancing, doing all types of stuff, stuff that I can't film. But it was like a buku buku good time. I'm so glad that I came to this. I had heard about Dinosaur probably more than 10 years ago when I first watched The Real L Word and they came to Dinosaur and I was like oh my god I have to go there one day so to finally be here was like such a cool surreal experience I do wish because I'm going to keep it real I do wish it was more diverse racially I don't feel like it was that diverse racially um, but I mean the, you know there was girls there were different girls scattered here and there, but I do wish that it was more diverse in that way. So, a lot of people come out here and they fall in love. That's what Dinosaur is known for. Like, you come over here, you find a shorty, you fall in love. Da -da -da -da. Did I fall in love? I'm going to say this. I met a lot of nice looking shorties out here. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's all we're going to say. All right? That's all we're going to say. I'm single and I'm chilling. Yeah, you got to come. You got you to gotta experience Dinah for yourself. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.